So, the only problem I dislike more than finding points on a three-dimensional shape like this is probably the application problems in the hazy textbook from section 15a. Um, so this is not a fun problem, and so I'm just going to walk through how I found uh, the points on this uh, this shape, and then I'm going to walk through a harder one where we don't have the origin on on it, because uh, several of you pointed out that this problem was easier because the origin was on the quadrilateral, um, not quadrilateral, but the, the three-dimensional shape. So I'm going to walk uh, through both of those. So first of all, uh, to find Oh, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Okay, so to find point P, uh, you what you want to do is point P will be given by the vector from the origin to point P because that will basically give you the coordinates of point P but just in vector form. And so because we can add vectors geometrically, we can go to P through A. So we know OP is going to be OA plus AP. And then the thing to remember is that AP has the same magnitude and direction as all of these uh, four vectors here going back into three-dimensional space that way. So what we can do is just replace AP with a vector that we know, like OB, because we know the... Um, the uh, position of B. So since we know the position of B, we also know the position vector of B with regards to the origin. So we can substitute that in and then just plug it in, uh, just substitute in, that is, then basically just the points and find the vector, uh, the vector that points at point P, and therefore we have point P. And so I just did that with the... Um, the other four points, and you can look at my work here if you want to pause and just check it, it uh, if you were having trouble getting those answers. These answers may be wrong. I didn't actually check them. This is just what I got. Um, but the problem we, you guys were wondering about, I think, uh, was a slightly harder one where we were just giving a cuboid, and we weren't, the origin wasn't on the cuboid, and that was troubling because I think we just had some confusion as to how to solve that. Um, so what I just did is I added the origin to my diagram, and I imagined there being um, vectors pointing to each of the points in the cuboid. So basically, the coordinates that I was given, I could translate into vectors. So like this point A, I could translate it into the vector OA, which would be 2, 0, 0. And so if I wanted to find another point... Uh, like point R, I could just imagine the vector OR, and then I could think, how do I get from O to R? And I went through B and Q to get there, so I said that OR was equal to OB plus BQ plus QR. And so then I changed BQ for a vector I knew, which was AP, because I have point P. Um, and I have point A, so I can easily find the vector from A to P. And then I did the same thing with QR. I exchanged that for AD, because I have both of those points. And then you could, what you could do here, instead of going to this step, is you could go here, and you could go out, and you could take these points, and you could actually find um, AP and AD, uh, if you really wanted to know what those vectors were. However, since I only care about point R, I just decided to break those down further, because I know that... Um, AP is just OP minus OA, and AD is just OD minus OA, so I just broke it down further, plugged in all of my points in vector form, and then uh, just simplified it to find the coordinates of this point R. Uh, so hopefully that helped. Basically, when you're given... Uh, 
when you're trying to find points on a cuboid or a pal parallel a pipad, um, what you have to do is you have to make a map from the origin to um, whatever point you want to find, and sometimes you're going to have to add your own point to the diagram or your your own origin. You might the origin may not be on the diagram, so you just have to add it. And then once you've added it, you want to look for the things that you know or that you can find. And if it's something you can't find, then you want to substitute it for an equivalent vector that has the same direction and magnitude um, that you can use instead. So hopefully that helped uh, to explain that problem.